five new updates in CapCut you should know. The multi-camera feature. As they call it, it's for multi-camera setups, like podcast videos, interviews, or documentaries where two or more cameras are used. Imagine I'm working for Ronaldo, and I want to edit his podcast video. He gives me three camera recordings. The first one is the master camera. The other two are medium shots of the guests. Now, you select all the videos, right-click on them, and choose multi-camera. You can even rename it. And if all cameras started recording at the same time, you can choose auto sync. But for this video, it's not gonna work because it's not the original camera footage. And I'm not Ronaldo's editor. I mean, not yet. Click OK. Now it works like a compound clip. Then, play the video. On the left side, you'll see which camera is active with a blue frame. Just select any camera you want, and CapCut will cut in real time and disable the other layer. It's really cool. I've used multi-camera on Premiere Pro before, but CapCut is much smoother here. And if you want to turn it off or on, you can click here. Before we go on, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay tuned for new CapCut tutorials. Next update is Smooth Review. For 4K footage or big projects with a lot of layers, reviewing your project can be a bit laggy, but if you notice the video is lagging, just change the resolution. From here, you can reduce it. It's glitchy when you play the video, but when you pause, it shows in high resolution. Sometimes, even after changing your playback resolution, the video still plays laggy, so you'll need to render your timeline. You might see your timeline is green, or for some of you, it could be red or yellow. It doesn't matter. Just right-click on your timeline and choose Render Timeline. Once rendered, your timeline will be blue. If you click on it and nothing happens, select all the layers, then right-click again and choose Render again. Do you remember when I used to manually change the interface for older videos? Some of you skipped parts of the video and missed when I changed the windows. Then you'd comment, how did you change the interface from this to that? Well, now CapCut added an option in the window interface where you can change the layout to vertical with one click. Now you can edit your reels easily. Cool, right? I know it's not a big update, but it's useful and can save you time. I'm not a CapCut programmer, so don't stare at me. Message their support team instead. Now, the last update and the most important one. When I updated CapCut, I saw these pro labels everywhere. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but if you use them, I think you'll become a pro editor instantly. Bruh. I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think about these new features. And if I missed any updates, feel free to share them down below. And if you want to learn more about the new features in CapCut, just click on this video. And remember, as always, stay creative. Shoot.